My name is Neal Deng and I'm a refugee living in Kakuma refugee camp in Ozus in Kenya. Today I invite you to spend a day with me in Kakuma and find out what we are doing to protect ourselves and the communities that owe us from coronavirus. Every day I wake up at uh, 5.45 and then I take 15 minutes uh, to meditate and refresh for the day and then I study for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Keeping a routine is very important for me because it helps me stay active and in good mental health. We have a water watching point uh, right at the gate, so that means anyone coming into the compounds have to wash the ants, and anyone going out have to wash the ants. So I'll now be taking a walk, so I have to put on my mask properly. All shops have uh, a water watching point uh, to make sure customers watch the ants uh, when they get in and when they also leave the shops. So this is Abel Studio. Uh, I come here sometimes to print my documents, and uh, he has internet. Uh, but now, because of coronavirus, he has like reduced the charges by 50%, so that uh, many students can come in and uh, do online uh, assignment. So normally, because of coronavirus, I do take at lunch at home. But uh, today, because I'm in the market, so I'll have to take lunch here. This is my favorite restaurant in the town. I would find many people coming in here because. Uh, but because of Corona, uh, the number is limit, and only one person can sit at the table at a time. So welcome for lunch. So I had a very delicious lunch. Uh, now it's like 3 p.m. So I'll be going to town to check my emails at the cyber camp. So do join me. So this is where I come now because there are all learning centers are closed to check my emails and stay in touch with friends. It's been a very busy day, <laughs> so I'll be going home now, take some rest, and then uh, at 6, I'm going for a run. So I did uh, 4 kilometers, very uh, tight, so now I'm, I'm going home. There's a curfew uh, in the next few minutes, uh, I'll go refresh and then uh, I'll study. And then uh, before I go to bed, I write uh, a gratitude journal to reflect on my day. Uh, my message to the world is that let's fight this together and let's not leave anyone behind because none of us is safe until all of us are safe. Stay home and be safe.